It's market update time. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. Hey traders, I've just recorded the video showing you the most powerful chart reading technique that has worked ever since the market started. As you know, but learning how to read the charts is very important to your trading success. So click on the box above that says PT method to get access now. Hey traders, market update time. Let's have a look at the, the indexes, indices. Uh, let's see what's going on through here. We still do have a, have a bit, bit of a small gap here that that I do think will be filled. The only gap that I see here on the Dow Jones is that this small gap here that hasn't been filled. But apart from that, you just don't get gaps. So uh, I do believe we're likely to see a bit of downward movement coming into coming into the market. I need to probably fill, I need to fill that gap, and then we can see what's going on through there. So um, I do believe may, maybe a little short term movement on the downside, but then and we'll see what what sort of what sort of is going to happen from there. S&P, same thing, we almost closed the gap, or we literally almost, almost closed the gap uh, on Friday, came down, almost closed it and ran back up to close higher. So um, it's, you know, pretty, pretty much nothing going on there, but a nice small movement there. I'll get to the weekly charts in a minute here. Nothing really showing any strength, just a bit of a sideways movement when it comes to the NASDAQ. Uh, let's have a look here. Let's have a look at the VIX. The VIX here has just been mangled. I'm so happy I've been out of the VIX for, for many, many months now. That thing has just not been doing anything. Obviously, the market's been rallying higher. Looking on to the... Looking on to, to the... Uh, to, to the uh, uh, transportation average, what do we see here? We see a few things, right? So we see that the market uh, ran down. The market ran back up. The market ran back down and now it's run back up and now it's actually having a little little poke back poke back below here so if we actually get another blast off here that's going to mean uh, another higher high or higher trough and then another breakout through there so it'd be really interesting to see what's going to happen here with the with with, with the transportation average because the transportation transportation average right now has broken back below this sort of significant resistance level, which 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 probably is through there, maybe a little bit through there as well too, as you can see. So if we squeeze our chart up a little, let me bring this up here. Let me let me open, let me squeeze this chart up a little more, and open this up here. What we can see here, guys, is that we can see that we just squeeze it up a little bit more. We can see that this market has continued to, the market has continued to go up, go up, and we it did break above new highs, but we came straight back down. The question you've got to ask yourself when it comes to the transportation average is this, is that are we, are we going to, is this, is these levels through here likely to be a resistance and are we likely to start heading back down? And is this a false breakout? We will know within the next few days. If we get another nice bullish update, closing back below here, that was just a, that was just a nice little higher trough and, went, and then away we go. And then that should confirm another good bullish run in the transportation average. If it doesn't, then we could see a drop back below down to the 50 moving average and so on and so forth. Make sense, guys? So that's the thing that I'm looking at there when it comes to the transportation average. That's the one that's sort of giving the, a bit more of a clearer sign. Again, I'll, I'll look at the weekly charts here in just a minute. Um, the, the Russell 3000 index came down and closed its gap through there, as you can see. So it came down and closed this gap through there. Uh, is this getting ready for another continue run? And uh, and pretty much there was uh, the Russell 2000 stocks have been pretty much all over the place. Not really much going on. Nothing really much going on there when it comes to the Russell index. So let me actually go back now. Let me actually share with you what I see on the weekly charts. Okay, so let's go back and let's have a look at all the stocks, but looking on the weekly chart basis. So. The weekly chart on the on the Dow Jones has been, uh, as you can see, has been. Uh, uh, let's create a parallel trend line. Has been basically this, right? So this has been basically the weekly chart. So the question I've got to ask you guys is that: Is this weekly chart ready, getting ready to, to run to the to, to the top of this channel? Now it may not happen straight away, but even on a small pullback, guys, we have a bit of we have a lot of support. If we even if we get a, a, a small pullback you know, one or 2% pullback, we're going to hit a major support level, which is around that 
20,500. If it has a little pullback, I would say that this level through here, if I bring this up to the daily chart, this is the daily chart now. Even if we do get a little pullback here, guys, even if we do get a little pullback, even if it comes down through here, it might be just another nice move down before another continue move up. So as you can see, that's what's happening. That's what it looks like on the on the on the Dow Jones. Looking onto the S and P 500, what do we see here? We see that we actually have been in a very very bullish channel, and and you can see that this channel here is is up through there somewhere. So. Uh, very, very, very bullish channel, guys, when it comes to that. What do we see through here? We actually see uh, it's pretty much the same thing through there. What do you see through here on, on the weekly charts, guys? You can see that, you know, we may be getting ready for another move up. Even if we do have a drop down, guys, once, twice, three times through there. So this trend line through here, this is on the daily chart. Now, you can see that I don't exactly line up on the, on the weekly, the daily, but you can see what I'm saying through there. Even if we do get a small pullback, guys, it's likely to find a bit of support and then maybe then, then go for another run. So that's what we're seeing through here. So even if we do get a small pullback, guys, the, uh, the bull market is definitely not over yet. Um, you know, and, and we could be getting ready for a move to the high side. Looking onto the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ weekly chart, you can see what's happening through there. Nice, nice, nice upward trend once, twice, three, four times, four weekly touches. And now we have this sort of action happening as well too. So we have this sort of top of the action. So do we actually continue to have another another sort of another sort of move to the high side when it comes to that? Um, you know, we just got to yet to be seen. But go to the daily chart now. And we squeeze up. You can see how we've just been miranding up here through uh, through here. So even if we do get a, a small pullback, guys, we do have a bit of support just below it as well too. Um, let's go back and have a look at now the. Transportation. So as, as I was saying before, guys, when it comes to the transportation average, you can see that we were and we and we did have a lot, a lot of resistance through there. We had a little drop down through here and then a little blast off, but we held, basically hold this resistance line through here. So the question you got to ask yourself, guys, is that there's there's a major significant support level through here, even on the on the Dow, on the transportation average. So even if it does get a small pullback, um as you can see through there, look at that, okay? As you can see what I did just then. Even if we do get a small little pullback, um, you know, we, we down down on this bottom here, we actually have a big overall uh, channel in place. So I'd have to say the channel would be, somewhere through there. So that'll be the that'll be the big channel we're in right now. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use that. But as you can see, we're squeezing up into this triangle pattern on the weekly chart here. So if we do start to get on the on the on the, let me get that off the screen there. If we do start to get a little breakdown through here, then we could have another run, run down to around about the 160. This is the uh, IYT, which is the uh, tr uh, transportation average fund uh, ETF. So we could have a run down to probably about the 160, which is about these lows anyway, probably a bit lower, but we do run into a significant area of support through here. So uh, again, guys, there's nothing bearish about the markets. We could get a pullback. Even on a pullback, guys, we could see, uh, we could actually see the market continue up from there. So looking on to the Russell 3000, Russell 3000, you can see it's been in this big bull trend for a while. We're almost at the top of the channel. So we basically hit the top of the channel. Again, we may be getting ready for another new pullback. If I just look at this here, we actually can see we have a new sort of new little trend line. We actually have three weekly touches through there, as you can see, because this is the weekly chart. And we have a new sort of, sort of a new channel going on, which is sort of forming uh, which is sort of forming through through there. So we may be getting ready to the top of this channel through here, guys. Um, we we'll just wait and see what happens with that. But we do have this overall big, this overall big, sort of long term, uh, long term resistance channel through here. Um, we definitely have something through there, don't we? That's that's definitely something I see through there. So that may be. As you can see, we bounced off through there, had a lot of support through there, a lot of resistance through there. So we're at this lot of resistance through now on on the on the uh, and as you can see, we had that through there as well too. As you can see, guys, you can see what happens through here. And this is the reason why, guys, that people say technical analysis doesn't work. I know we're going back to hindsight here, but look at this here: support 
All this resistance level became resistance through here and then it broke back up. But you got this support line through here as well too. So we're, we're, at, we're at a fair few areas of resistance when it comes to when it comes to that as well too. Let's bring up the daily chart again. The daily chart, you can see obviously we're at the top of that major area of resistance. So we may be getting ready for a little small pullback. Even if we do get a, a small pullback guys, again, you know, uh, a a two a two a two percent or so, we're going to run into a few areas of support level. So it's definitely not a bear market. Now, if we do start to get guys, if we do start to get that sort of action, that sort of action, and then that, and then a breakdown, yeah, you yeah, I, I would then say that this bull trend is now ending, and we could get a run back down towards these lows through here, if not lower. And maybe if it's going to be a crash, if there is going to be a crash, that this is what this is what would happen, right? We start to break below these lows through here. So uh, let me let me go ahead and have a look at the Russell 3000. What do we see here in the Russell 3000? So we have that through there. We have a pretty big upward trend line through there. Now that will, it, it might not sound like much, but from here to here, guys, let me just do this through here. No, no, I'm not going to do that. So from there to there, guys, it doesn't look like much because it's only one bounce. Um, but this this trend line could could come into place, you know, a bit later on. And so we can see we definitely have something going on through there, don't we? There's definitely something going on through there. As you can see, there's a lot of resistance through there, and you can see these weekly bars, right? So these weekly bars having a lot, a lot of respect for that up here. You can see how, and this is what I'm looking for, guys. When I'm doing these trend lines, I'm looking for validation. All right, so you can see the bounces through here, all the bounces, and then we had a lot of breakthrough there. We had a lot of bounces through there, and then it rejected it, rejected it. And as you can see, these weekly bars are rejecting it. This is the weekly bar. So that's what I'm looking for, guys, when I'm looking for validation on my trend lines. I'm looking to draw that. Um, so you can see that. Let me go back to the daily chart now. You can see what's going on through there. Go back to the weekly chart here. We do have a little small little upward trend, a uh, little little trend line going in through there as well too. A couple of weekly touches, I would say, through there. So as you can see, we had a little weekly touch through there. So we're squeezing up into this sort of triangle pattern through here on the overall on the overall chart. So it's like, where does it break? If we continue to if we continue to break down, then then the first the first especially the Russell two thousand stocks guys, it has more to fall because you look at this weekly chart. You know, it has a little support through there, but I, I don't think that I don't think that'll hold because had a, if if this starts to break down, that'll be a false breakout, and then I do believe we could actually get a a sharp pullback to at least this trend line. But again, guys, a pullback does not mean a crash, right? A pullback does not mean a crash. Now we went through what to look for if the market if the market's going to crash, this will happen, um, and we can see that's what's happening here. But even if we get a pullback, guys, this is just as you can see, it's right, it's just a run up, pullback, run up, pullback. A run up and then nice pullback. We could we could be getting ready for another new another new breakup. You know, moving forward through the rest of this year, we just don't know. Um, now I have my theories, I have my thoughts, but I'm just going on what the charts are telling me right now. So there we go, guys. Bit of a market update time across the board of the indexes indices. Bit of an overall breakdown of what I see. And uh, you know, if the market's going to crash, they're the sort of things that I'm looking for, and these are the things that I'm looking for looking ahead for this week. Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like to get more free education about trading, then click on the box that says free trading course. This is a free trading course. It goes for around 12 hours long. It's about 12 videos long. It covers everything from chart reading, mindset, trading systems, money management, trade management, everything you need to get yourself ahead in the markets. And if you'd like to get my help personally, then click on the box that says get John's help and you'll be able to see how you can get my help personally. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And remember, success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today.